For the shoes? Yep. You don't mind if I record, bro? For protection. I don't care. It's just, it was just a funny experience. Where'd you get these from? Sixth Street. You don't mind if I can let JJ come real quick? Bro, I don't got time. I already got things to do. I don't have time. Well, because I'm not getting robbed for some white gas driver. Nah, nah, bro. <laughs> Running the war on drugs. Yo. Hey man, it's just gonna be a few show, man. So I just got back from my bike ride. So fam, I originally did this meetup, bruh, around like January or February of this year, fam. So yeah. But before I got in the call with this person, bruh, I was originally supposed to meet up with him at this gas station, bruh. This busted ass, sketchy ass gas station. But I had no service at all, bruh. Like literally, fam. I had no service. My phone literally said SOS, bruh. Like this shit had no service gain, nothing. Even my baby mom was phone, bruh. Like my sh both did not have service for shit like literally even if i wanted to like legit check the shoes or if i couldn't tell at that time like i couldn't send the pictures nothing bro like i had no service at all bro so as soon as i pull up to the gas station phone there was like seven homeless dudes bro doing cartwheels and backflips and shit bro i promise you bro on everything i love but anyways fam i parked at this busted ass gas station and i tried calling bro to tell him like I'm here or I think I called him and I sent him a message. Like, the messages wasn't going through and the phone calls wasn't going through either, bruh. You feel me? And I tried calling him at my baby mama's phone and no service at all, bruh. Like literally. And this gas station, bruh, was mad, like sketchy. The shit was just weird, bruh. It was just me, my Nerf gun and my baby mama, bruh. So that was already a red flag, you feel me? So I went down the street, pizza place. I don't know what pizza place it was, but I parked down there and still no service from. So I decided to drive around the block to these apartments from. And I finally had service, bro. Like, literally, like, this shit was working. My baby mama's phone was working now. Like, I had full-on service game. I don't know what type of shit was happening. Maybe God was literally telling me, bro, do not do this meter, bro. These are fakes, bro. Like, I promise y'all, boys. I don't even know. So, this is where I started calling, bro. So, yeah, let's see what happens. Are you good? You good? Hey, um, I gotta let you know something. I, I don't think I can meet you by the gas station, bro. But I'm I'm in the area, though. But I have no phone service over there. Okay, sure. You, need me, uh, you can meet me closer to my house. All uh, right, for sure, bro. All right, bro. All right, bro, bro, bro. What's up, bro? So, where you at? Shit, I'm like, right here. Yeah, I'm kind of, I'm kind of near there. Um, I just want to kind of be a little bit, uh, be a little bit more complex. So. Oh my God, bro! What does this man think I'm gonna do? Rob the shoes? Um, even the homeless dudes at the gas station doing cartwheels could tell that these might have to be one of the worst. Busted ass replica shoes I ever seen in my entire life, fam. Even the homeless people could tell, fam. I promise y'all on everything I love, bro. Uh, nah, yeah, you good, bro. You good. Let me get you. Um, there's a store right, right up the street from there. I'm gonna uh get the address right now. Uh, for sure, for sure. Here. Super close by. Honestly, bro, I, I, I don't really like. I'm not too sure. <laughs> I don't really hang out like outside of the house. All right, one second. I'm just gonna send it through a uh, text message, bro. Uh, for sure, for sure. Yo. What's up, dude? Uh, the location that you sent, bro, it just shows like a Pizza Hut and shit like Look that. Look up Stop and Save. What's up? There's a place called Stop and Save. I don't have a car. I don't have a car, bro. So I'm literally just looking for the nearest like place near us that has people because I'm not getting robbed for some whack ass driver. Nah, nah, bro. I understand. I understand. I'm not. I'm not gonna meet like in a neighborhood or something. So yeah, that's a that's when you go to that address, you'll see a bunch of little buildings and Mexican places like a trash like shopping center. So I'm walking there now. I'll be there in like maybe five minutes or something. I'll be right there shortly. All right, then, bro. I'll be by the like I guess the cricket. <laughs> Okay, yeah, just park right in front of Cricket then. All right, for sure, bro. I'll see you in a bit. Good. Good. For the shoes? Yep. Shut up. You don't mind if I record, bro? It's for protection. I don't care. For sure. 
It's just, it was just a funny experience. I've never had anyone be like, oh, I don't have service. Oh, God, I didn't have service, bro. It's, no, it's just okay. Here you go, bro. Where'd you get these from? Sixth Street, South by Southwest event. Sure. Can I see the other one? Okay. Let's put the shit there. Ain't no way, fam. This man literally wasted my time and gas, bruh. Just for me to find out that these might have to be one of the worst busted ass Travis Scott shoes I've ever seen in my entire life, fam. What is wrong with this man in the head? And this man literally wanted $500, bruh, for these busted ass shoes. And after I did this meetup, fam, he lowered it to like $200 and then $100, bruh. And I wasn't gonna upload this video, bruh, like at all. But this man knows exactly what he's doing. Doing, bro. What is wrong with you in the head? Christopher, instead of you riding on your bicycle to this meetup, bro, should have biked yourself to go find the nearest hospital or the nearest police station to go get checked in the head. These be full ass, grown ass men acting like this, bro. I ain't gonna lie, gang. It's time to get a nine to five, bro. What are you doing right now with your life? There's literally nothing wrong with that, fam. You need one ASAP. You don't mind if I can legit check them real quick? Bro, I don't got time. I already got things to do. If you don't want them, or if you, you know. Fam, let me tell y'all something real quick. When the motherfucker starts saying that bullshit, them shoes are automatically fake, bro. I promise y'all boys on everything I love. Even if the shoes are authentic, they turn fake. Some way or some, somehow, gang. I promise y'all boys. I know you're probably like, trying to flip and do this and that. No, I'm trying I to keep just, these as personal. It just took like 45 minutes for, for like the, the ordeal. I'd rather just get the money, head out. If you if you want to like legit check, I don't, I don't have time. I'll be honest. I don't have time. Like at all? I'll be mad quick, but... All right, Denver. That motherfucker got some attitude on him, bro. Fake ass shoes. Grown ass man selling fake ass shoes. Pretending that shit is real, bro. That's crazy, bro. <laughs> I'm telling y'all boys. Grown ass people too. I'm telling y'all boys, never trust nobody except for yourself. Weird ass people, bro. So I could tell these shoes were fake, fam. Without even legit checking them, bro. This man really just wasted my time. And this man literally wanted $500 for these busted ass shoes. That's crazy, bro. I'm telling y'all boys, this is why I got to deal with, fam. And yeah, bro, y'all boys stay safe. Stay protected at all times, fam. And do not trust nobody, bro. And yeah, bro, drop a like in the video, bro. Make sure y'all start requesting these two pages. My main page and my second page for steals and deals, bro. Y'all do not want to miss out. I'm telling y'all, for steals and deals.